Dong Yong fits Kim's Doomfist found disruption early and caught Dallas off guard when they started on Li Zhang Tower. He was able to throw off resources from the supports as the few were engaging each and every fight. Through support ultimates, Seoul took round 1 on control center 100% to 99. Once again on Night Market, the Dynasty would play the standard. Only in composition, however, as main tag Mincio Marvel Huang came to life. The most aggressive and dominant game thus far, he cleaved space for his team, setting Jae Hong, Jae Hong Ru to find damage on the staggered tanks of the fuel, along with Jinmo Toby Yang as the tanks were never eliminated. So would finally take the final stage and the map in a convincing 100-0 sweep in round 2. The Seoul Dynasty won Li Zhang Tower on a final score of 2-0. Seoul took a lot of time to cycle two fights before getting in the jump on first for Hanamura. They then struggled to eliminate Benjamin Unko Chavesan's Ana. The fuel evaded and pushed back until Marvel shut down Min Sunk OGE Son Shatter on the high ground. Soul dropped to point and picked up on the scattered members of Dallas. Though taking longer than expected, Soul were able to keep a decent time bank of 233 left in their advantage. Defending with Jay Hong on his tried and true Ana, Soul held Dallas to overtime. Fitz hit and showed great communication, shutting down the push decisively. Dallas were looking lost in their rotations. They were walking in first without capture progress until they pushed back Seoul, eliminating key members to capture point A and B soon after. With less time than Seoul, the Dallas fuel had to attack first. The Dynasty were able to full hold Dallas through chasing members that were low from taking damage on their win. Sang Beyond Munchkin Byun was enabled to waltz through his primary fire on Brigida for the cleanup. The win condition would then be met. Jae Hong would find an opening elimination on Dylan AKM Big Net and get the one tick needed for Seoul to go up 2-0 in the series. The Seoul Dynasty would win on Hanamura on a final score of 3-2. Down to two minutes left on Eichenwald, Seoul struggled to find an opening to engage into Dallas. The fuel were doing well with maintaining pressure on Marvel and Fitz. Dallas didn't need to invest support ultimates before the point even unlocked. Because of all the time exhausted to just unlock the payload, Seoul would have little time to complete the second capture point. With the payload just meters in front of the capture point, Dallas would hold. The Dynasty were off-tempo, disjointed, and unable to stop the aggression from Dallas. Losing two straight fights had the Dallas fuel meters within a map victory. Holding at the bridge for three and a half minutes, Toby was able to find massive value in his usage of Lucio. Booping multiple members off the side of the bridge and shutting down a transcendent set Soul up three times over Dallas. Even in the final fight, Toby found two more environmental eliminations to have his team take the map and the series. The Soul Dynasty won Eichenwald on a final score of 2 to 1. Seoul were able to force their way around the terrain of Watchpoint Gibraltar. It wasn't until the third point that Dallas fully pushed Seoul into a reset through back-to-back -back fights. Then a well-coordinated rally to force OGE out of position allowed Marvel to find an opening with the Shatter and have Seoul capture the last point with 58 seconds on their attack. Dallas were finding Seoul in their newfound aggression with Marvel and punished it continuously. Through every engagement to the second capture point, had Dallas deflecting Seoul with their pristine ultimate economy. The fuel had 5 minutes and 30 seconds left in the time bank to capture the last point in the map and had yet to be thrown off their resource management. Even when Seoul had ultimates and in a long team fight was drawn out, they struggled to find enough eliminations to even gain control. A well placed graviton surge from AKM had Dallas emphatically capturing the point with 4 minutes and 19 seconds left in the bank. The Seoul Dynasty set up a 5 meter bionic grenade to set Marvel up to consume 80% of ultimate charge to let off his primal rage within the first engagement. With Seoul's munchkin playing Ana, it allowed them to overheal at the point. No tank on the Dynasty would be pressured enough to even drop control of the point. Overtime was started in the beginning of the second stage of the map, but Seoul would not let go. They bulldozed through every ultimate Dallas had as they got off the point entirely and overtime dissipated. 
The final defense of Seoul was much slower and methodical as they baited Zachary, Zachary, Lombardo, and OG into poor positioning to take too many resources from Dallas to stay alive. This allowed Seoul to disengage and maintain control of the ultimate race for the rest of the way. Timely engagements from the dynasty allowed two contests on the second point where the series would get wrapped up with a graviton bomb combo from Fitz and Minghyuk Michelle Choi. The Seoul dynasty would win Watchpoint Gibraltar on a final score of 5-3. Through the environmental kills to the in-battle leadership, it's good to have Toby back. Looking better than ever, he was able to keep Seoul together and alive through the stickiest situations. He's been a true enabler to the aggressive style Seoul put on today. The player of the match was Seoul Dynasty's Toby. The Seoul Dynasty completed the sweep on the Dallas Fuel with a final score of 4-0.